Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare the candaulos, an ancient dish that originally comes from Lydia, in the version of by Egesippus of Tarentum, a cook who lived in southern Italy in the 4th century before the Common Era. We start with the ingredients. We need beef, cheese, bread and a dill. We cut the meat into pieces and cook it with a bit of olive oil. It is not completely clear whether the meat must be used already cooked or must be cooked with the other ingredients. We chose the second interpretation, but you can also simmer the meat and keep aside its broth to prepare this dish. In the recipe, it's not specified which kind of meat to use. However, the term creas usually refers to meat such as beef, mutton or goat. We chose beef because its flavor pairs very well with the other ingredients, but you may use the meat you prefer. There are other versions of candaulos, one sweet described by Pollux in his onomasticon, in which it is prepared with starch, milk, honey and cheese. Another recipe is instead reported by the grammarian Ezekius, who writes about a candaulos with honey, milk, cheese and their meat. Meanwhile, we grate the bread and cheese and mince the dill. This recipe is reported in the most important source for ancient Greek cuisine, Ateneus de Hypnosophists, which we used a few times in the past to prepare ancient recipes. It is a book about banquets in the ancient world, not only in Greece with quotes and recipes by authors whose works would be otherwise lost. For this recipe we used aged pecorino, however Phrygian cheese, mentioned in the text, was made with mare and donkey milk, according to Aristotle. You can choose a goat cheese or a cheese made with goat and sheep milk, common in southern Italy in this period. It isn't completely clear if only the bread or also the cheese has to be grated. If you want a dish with a strong flavor, we recommend aged cheese. Otherwise, use a fresh cheese cut into pieces. It will melt during the cooking. For some recipes of ancient bread, check out our videos for Hapalos Artos, Mustacei and bread with poppy seeds. You find all the links in the description below. When the meat is almost cooked through, we add a little broth, two pinches of salt and the grated bread. This dish is very different from ancient Roman recipes, but it's amazing how it's similar instead to some medieval preparations, in particular some soups described in the Registrum Coquine, a 15th century cookbook written by the German cook Johannes Bockenheim which we translated and you find on Amazon. There are at least a couple of recipes which we will show you in the future that feature almost the same ingredients combined in a similar way. Actually, many medieval recipes are more similar to the dishes of ancient Greece than Rome. In addition to our translation of the Registrum Coquine, on Amazon you can pre-order our new book on a beautiful Byzantine text Antimus de Observazione Ciborum, one of the few sources of early medieval recipes written for the King of the Franks. If you're interested in ancient food, check out our book Ancient Roman Cooking. All the books are available in English and Italian. When the meat is cooked and the broth thickened, we add the cheese and the dill and cook for a couple of minutes. On our Patreon page, you find articles and further translations of ancient and medieval sources. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. This plate is very simple and its flavor incredible. 
fragrant with cheese and dill, rich and intense, perfect for these cold days. We paired it with barley polenta. It would be great also with some vegetables, dressed with garum, oil and vinegar, accompanied by a glass of wine. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.